Hi, welcome to Julie's Yard and Garden. Today we're going to be putting our garden to bed for the winter. One of the simplest things that you can do in your garden is to take the plants that are dead and finished and just put them straight in the trash. Um, I'm definitely going to do that with this zucchini plant because it had, had squash bugs in it. If you have anything that has had any kind of a disease or pest in it, you don't want to keep that in your garden. You don't want to keep that in your garden just in case there's a possibility of harboring that pest over the winter uh, and it'll come back the next spring. I have cats in the neighborhood I'm going to go ahead and put some kind of a mesh over this um, so that the soil can be soaked over the winter but the cats and the other animals will stay out of it and not dig for this you can use mesh you can use burlap you could just throw a bunch of rocks in here this is just some mesh that I had lying around so I'm going to go ahead and put rocks on the top of it to keep it down for the winter and then I'll be set. I won't have to worry about this until I'm ready to plant it next spring. One thing that I've noticed about my garden over the years is that the fall flowers always last longer than the vegetables do. So I'll cut the flowers, put them in the bowl of water until I can put them in a vase and I can enjoy them for the rest of however long they last. For the rest of the vines, I'm going to actually trench in the soil because these vines here are my watermelon and my cantaloupe that didn't have any pests in them. So I'm going to trench and I'm going to lay those in the trench and let them decompose over the winter. And the nutrients that these plants took up while they were growing this last summer uh, will be broken down and put back into the soil. You don't have to put your spent vines for all of your beds back into the soil, but this particular soil needs some amending, so I'm going to try and get as much organic matter back into the soil as I possibly can. So it's totally up to you whether you do this part or not. Again, you could just take it and you could compost it, or you could send it to a, a natural materials recycling center you could throw it in the trash. Totally up to you. It's your garden. Okay, now I'm just going to chop these all up with the shovel and then bury it with the soil. With the tomatoes, you're going to need to be careful, especially if they're on uprights like the ones that I have. Right now mine are on a just a mesh trellis. Um, if you've got a just a wire cage that they're on, you're gonna have to kind of unwind them from that to start clipping away. This is the bed that I actually put my compost bin in. I've gone ahead and put my potato vines over the top of everything in the compost. Next I'm going to scatter it with a layer of leaves that I have chopped finely from last season actually. And then I'm going to cover it with soil and let it sit. Next season I will add soil on top of it again in order to top the bed off and then I will use this to plant my tomatoes next year.
Until next time, grow something you love and just have fun with it.